Hey guys, good morning. You sleep good? I slept pretty dang good. In the middle of a pretty long road trip right now, I'm gonna give you a little update about it. Come with me. I left my house yesterday at about 3 p.m. and I drove till 3 a.m. I slept there in the back of the GFC in this beautiful desert landscape somewhere near Los Lunes, New Mexico. We're on a big road trip, folks. A long one. Uh, from my house, drive time was 17 hours and 40 minutes. And we are headed to Texas to hunt some poor man sheep. For those of you who don't know what poor man sheep are, Barbary or Audad. Popped up on, I love that. Sure. <laughs> now that we got that taken care of, I'm gonna take down the GFC, drive for another seven hours or so, meet up with the boys. Cheers. Let's get back to driving. Shoot him right there. God damn it, let's go. Right there. shot yet he must not know maybe he's just trying to let them set up or something he might be a lot farther than we think they are oh he's dead dead 
that was Robin just smacked that ram. That was sweet. So he got came around the hill with all the other ewes, and uh, he went and hid kind of in a cave, and she moved up another couple hundred yards and put the herd on him. But freaking awesome shot. Plus, it's her birthday today, so happy birthday, Robin. Freaking birthday ram. That's so sweet. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. Sweet. Woo! Hold that bad boy up. That's freaking sweet. <laughs> Look at the cactus in its face. <laughs> That's so cool. Just munching on Troy. I like so how, pretty. I like how it curls. He curls totally on that side. He's yep. not brown too. Yeah, he's super pretty. Jeez. And they got nice those shot. Black striped manes down their back. Uh huh. Dude, they're so pretty. Yeah. Got the black tongue. Oh jeez, tough stuff down. Now. So we just came down off of there, got done taking care of that sheep. I'm gonna make some tacos. Got some stuff in the backpack, so be eating that. And then uh, horns and the cape are headed out ahead of us. But pretty great first morning. A couple javelinas down and one nice sheep. Go back and eat. Go try for the evening or the afternoon. He went down to the right and stopped. He went about 30 yards. He's kind of he's standing with the rest of them. He's the one all the way on the right. He's the one all the way on the right. He's moving down now. He's kind of how high? He's, he's with the ewes. I see him. Okay, he's right in front of the cactus. Yep. How high? How high was I? How about like four feet. Are you kidding me? Are you ready? Yep. Right over his head. Hmm. I'm not sure right now. Okay, he's running right. He's in the white patch to the right. Okay, he's going up away from us. He's, he's going away from us. He went right. A little bit of an update. Rocky just shot at a ram up on his face behind me. Um, and he's headed up from one of the video, from the video, like it looked like he either brushed through the hide on the back or hit it in the back. It didn't go down, but it was maybe carrying a leg. We we're not sure, so he's going up to check. He's climbing that hill right now, but I'm gonna put you guys on the spotter with the all in, put you in on the action. We never saw him come out of that cut, but he could have gone down and we wouldn't have been able to see where he went. So Rocky got up there and ended up kicking the ram out of the draw below him. He took a shot at it as it topped the ridge at a couple hundred yards but missed. Yeah, yeah. 
he said the ram was moving fine and there was no blood in the ram's bed so we continued to hunt We got any luck? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Nothing. Nothing. Um, we got up on the glassing point behind us and glassed up a big band of sheep. Uh, it's probably the one that Calvin and everybody found last night. Looking like 40, 50, I don't know, a lot of sheep. Found one ram in there that I really liked the look of. So we're going to take three guns and we're going to go up and see if we can get in position to do some damage on these sheep. Big hike, hot temps, but it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Yeah, I'm rolling. You hit the rock above them. Yeah. They're just gonna run up that next hill. We got time. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Okay, so that one in the very back slowing down on the hill? Yeah. Big long shafts, that's a big one. We started hiking down there in the green. Came up, tried to make a play on them here, but the rams had fed around. So we came up over the top of this, and the sheep were all bedded down in the shade of that big rock pile. And uh, thought we had plenty of time was starting to get set up on the gun and they got really antsy. Jumped up and started leaving. The big ram stood up and I shot, hit like right in front of him. I just don't think I was quite ready to shoot. Just rushed it a little bit. They ran down and across, over and they went up that other nipple. And our buddy Brian's gonna go try him over there. And pretty good chunk of rams ran that way. So we're gonna go walk this plateau, see if we can get eyes on them and then dive off to camp. Camp's down at the end of the plateau, so a couple miles back, but pretty fun. Wish we'd have got her done there. Really good opportunity. The guy that uh, we bought the tags from told us that you can only hunt sheep in the early morning for about an hour. We just <laughs> missed that sheep at 12.30 p.m. Killed one yesterday at noon, so I think you can hunt them all day, but uh, CJ got word that he killed a good ram and a ewe, so we're still on the board with our goals for getting them killed out, but it'd be nicer if I'd quit missing. That'd be good. Alright, Robin and I were over here. I glassed up a, a ewe, bed it all by herself. Uh, right here, under this giant cliff. So we got in a position, she kind of saw us, we were about 300 yards, she got up, ran out this way, about 75 yards up there, and I dropped her. As soon as that happened, down from about right here, the whole herd came running out, and there was three giant rams, and I dropped one. He's down in the canyon right there. And after I shot him, I saw the life changer. 33 plus inch ram just barreling out of here. A little heartbreaking, but I think my ram's pretty big. All right, just made it up to the U. Pretty good looking U. Got a full curl. Probably just take the head and do a Euro with it. Um, Got the ram down there. Probably walk back to the truck before we go get the ram. Drop everything off. But pump 300 and I don't know 80 yards on this U. I figured she was just by herself, um, and I figured if I shot her, maybe more would jump up and move. And they did exactly that. Shot her, and the whole herd came out of the canyon. And there's three giants in there and I just picked the biggest, easiest one I could 
the sea and shot him and dropped him and then a giant ran away like true giant life changer so we're gonna get back in here and try to find him for Brian Ben or Rocky all right made it to the U went back got our stuff walking up on the ram looks pretty good It's a ram or a U. I think it's a U. Yeah, I see that one on the right. It's a U. I don't see any other. Do you want to shoot a U? I don't want to tell Calvin to go Okay, well, if you're going to shoot, shoot, and then we'll watch, see what else pops up. Rolling. Yep. Take your time, they're just chilling. Okay, I'm gonna shoot that one that's on the left. Okay. Ready? <coughs> Hit her. She's dead. She's upside down. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold for some wind here. Alright, I'm ready whenever I'm rolling. kid to the right of him. He's wide. He's got his ass to us. He'll, he'll turn right here. Well, when you grab my rear bag, it's clear. Is that another one below him? Huh? There's another one below him. Oh, big ass ram below him. Yep. Okay, will you grab my rear support bag? It's clipped in my case. What case? My gun case in the front seat. So I think that's the one Calvi missed. Thought it did. So, how are we going to do it? Straight up that point. Okay, go kill him. I'll just hang back. I'll be tired. So at this point, Rocky had moved about 300 yards closer than I was to the sheep. Wanted to make sure that he made a really good shot on that big ram that showed up, especially because this was his last night to hunt. He had to leave a little bit earlier than the rest of us. The big ram made his way up through all the other sheep and kind of posed on this rock for a long time. But Rocky wasn't sure which one he was in his scope, so he had to radio me and find out.
Yes, he's on top of the rock. Very top one. See him yet, but those other sheep are coming back out of that pocket. He's, I think he's going to come back. He's going to come back. Here they all come. Okay, he's coming out. That's him. That's him. Right there. Broad side. Same spot. Dead, dead, dead. You stoned him. Woo! It's you that he shot right before the ram. It's a long ways over there. You can't see where, but she didn't go anywhere. He smashed her right in the shoulders, and there she is. So I got a dead you. Right over there where my light's shining. Rocky's got this one. And then uh, Rocky's ram is a good boogie up the ridge. So, see where you hit her. Blood on, oh, right in the shoulder, great shot. Right where you want them. Good shot, man. Thanks, dude. He went up there, came back down. Yeah, it's super strong. <sighs> huh? Yeah? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude! He is rad! <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what's up. That's a heavy long ram, dude. What do you think? Stomper. Freaking stomper. He's so pretty, man. Look, he's got a tumor on that one side. Other side. Oh, yeah. Right by his ear. We'll get to find out what that one is. Yeah, that one's tight. Dude, how big is that? When we got back to camp that night, Brian had a crazy story about his experience while taking a ram that day. I'll let you go ahead and listen in. Oh, and I put another bullet in, and he just dies, like falls right, right in front of a rock, and all I can see is horns. That's it. So I can't shoot him again, and literally within 30 seconds, five rams go right to him. All of them, just standing, right? One of them's like button them. The other one's kind of just like going around, walking around, walking around. 
two rams each side, hook them, both sides, the ram from the back, and they lift this ram up. Ram gets on his feet and starts coming towards me down. What? And I'm like, the one you shot? Yes. And they picked him up. They picked him up. I, this is not, I'm, I'm serious. Like, picks him up. And I'm like, oh, they're going to come right to me. So he, oh, so he comes probably 150 yards, falls in, you know, kind of the canyon river part. And I'm like, okay, he's probably dead. Dude, I could have domed like all five of them. They were just like, wouldn't leave this ram. And sure enough, he gets back up, starts coming my way, starts coming my way. All of a sudden I hear him pop up and I have this kind of like, like kind of just a little plateau with tons of ocotillos and everything. And he's the first one that he's limping and then all the other rams are right single file. 60, 70 yards, free hand. <coughs> Drops. After going most of the day without water and 97 degree temperatures, Brian wasn't able to get his ram out that night, so we all hiked in the next morning to go get it. His nose. Like down? You want yeah, it down? down, nose down towards me. Pull that left, your left horn all the way back. Basically, try to tilt him towards me. Make a ram down, baby. Make it. Make it. Yeah. <clears throat> As we hiked out with Brian's ram, we worked our way down through the ledges into this canyon, and CJ spotted a bunch of sheep hiding in the shade of this cliff band. We looked them all over, and there was one ram that I really, really liked. He had long shafts, a big blocky body, a nice tight curl, and I could tell that he was very old. Over him, over him. Right. Moving left. It's going up. He's on top. On top of that band. Moving left. We're in the green grass. It's all green grass. The just green below grass. where the eight were. Yep. Just where the eight were. He's just standing. Nope. Hit him. Hit. Couldn't even see. I got shot. Oh, he's, he's down. down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Put another bullet in if you can. He's, oh, he's, oh, he's hurt. He's rolling. I put one more in him. Ah, we got him. <laughs> Keep watching him. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah. That's what I wanted. He had the shafts. Oh, the, he's got the look. Look at all those sheep running. We got her done. That was the last one to tag out. and We're uh, up here. We just got Brian's sheep. We're headed out with it. CJ glassed up a bunch of sheep hiding in the shade and one of them was the ram I've been looking for. So her shot flew high, it held a little lower and dumped in the second one. He just ran about 20 yards and piled up. So freaking stoked. That was fun. What do you think, dude? Got it all on video. I never get kill shots. Watch. It's, been, it's been a heck of a three days, I'll tell you what. Like we killed, we've tagged out, all of us. So five rams in three days. And that may sound easy, but it hasn't been easy. It's been no oh, long been days a grind. and hot. And been CJ, hot. if you guys don't know CJ Trophy Room Taxidermy, he's he's got uh, all the stuff here to flesh all these capes out and everything. And I think we're gonna do some some shoulder mounts. I never shoulder mount anything. <laughs> and like CJ's always giving me crap for cutting off capes and everything. But if you guys need anything done, I'm gonna link CJ. I'll put some info in the de description of this video for him. But I think we're gonna do something with this one. I'll have to go look at him and see. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's exactly what I wanted. 
<laughs> it's freaking bad. Slick and smooth. Got good curl. Almost no space in between them. Like you didn't have any hair between them. And then look at those. Sweet. Look at that. That's where I want to shoot them. Punched them right in the middle. Yep. Freaking Quartering away bad. too, so that was even better. Yeah, I tried to put it in his offside shoulder. Dude, look at that freaking check, you nasty. He's perfect, exactly what I wanted. Rad. There he is. Just getting ready to get going on him, but beautiful sheep, old sheep. And this has been a seriously just a killer adventure down here. Three days of hunting, killed five rams, killed some ewes, some javelinas, rattlesnake, kangaroo rats. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no bugs. It's been a great trip, guys. Thanks for watching on this one. We're gonna cut this thing up. We're gonna get out of here and get back to camp. Probably camp tonight. We're gonna run to town. We gotta get some ice. Probably tomorrow we'll head for home. But thanks everybody for tuning in and watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. The old long face Get to looking like you lost the race Get to looking like you didn't play at all Well I heard you've been running with a wilder cast Playing hard and living fast And for a while you had a blast You were feeling ten feet tall You're gonna be alright You'll be fine You can have a nickel out of my last dime The moon is bright Finishing up a little breakfast here. This is, we're all killed out, so got the workstation going on over here. This is where you have good friends like CJ that know how to do taxidermy and Robin. This is our carnage plus one. It's mine, Rockies, CJ's, CJ's you. Robins, some javelinas that smell right. This Brian, oh, it is that cape. That's Brian's cape. And then Brian's ram. Tight curl, the miracle ram. And you wound up set. Ain't I taught you how to hedge a bed? Hate to say it, but it's what you get. A right hook to the jaw. We all still think you're great I'm gonna have to shoot you straight You go to fishing or you cut some bait Take a hammer to the wall You'll be alright, you'll be fine You can have a nickel out of my last dime The moon is bright and you're alright down here You're gonna be alright, you'll be fine You can have a nickel out of my last dime Don't go Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Woo! You are a